The irony here is that according to the learned uh, Central Board of Film Certification, 16-year-olds in the rest of India should not watch what these two 16-year-olds are undergoing in Kashmir. My story with CBFC begins in 2010 when I applied for my first film, Inshallah Football, which was first banned. Then, after I protested, um, they gave it an adult certificate, which was totally un uncalled for. And um, after getting the adult certificate, then I submitted it for national awards and we won the national award. So, next year, I made Inshallah Kashmir. Uh, Again, that was banned. Again, I protested. Again, I got an A certificate, which was not warranted. And again, I got a national award. So, this is my third film um, on Kashmir. And it has been banned. They have said they will give it an A certificate, but under certain conditions, which is not acceptable to me, because I think it's totally unwarranted. And this time, I have decided that instead of just accepting the A certificate, and uh, making the cuts and moving on, I have decided that enough is enough. I have to put my foot down. I have to fight this. Because with an adult certificate, what, is hap what happens is that I cannot sell the movie to broadcaster. And everybody understands that a theatrical release is only like a glorified advertising campaign for a film. The real finances of a movie are recovered on broadcast rights and then obviously on the internet film to be certified in the C by CBFC on 15th of July and till September they didn't even watch the film once and then after that in September when they watched the film they didn't give me any conclusion there was no decision made now a process that normally takes between three weeks to say two months has taken over six months in my case um, so this is the reason I wrote three letters two letters actually to Mr. Prasun Joshi and one WhatsApp uh, requesting him to kindly look at the movie himself to see if there was anything objectionable and if so let's have a conversation about it and let's uh, see whether we can resolve the situation in a timely manner but unfortunately I have now lost six months of time and um, we have no way to proceed now if I with an adult certificate no, broad no broadcaster can take my film as per the law of the land so I need to have a UA certificate at minimum, if not a U certificate, right? Now, the irony here is, please understand, that uh, my film is a film about two teenagers who fall in love and have a, their first heartbreak, 16-year-olds, um, and the backdrop is Kashmir. And obviously, Kashmir has its um, issues. And so the film is ostensibly about these two kids. But the irony here is that according to the learned uh, Central Board of Film Certification, 16-year-olds in the rest of India should not watch what these two 16-year-olds are undergoing in Kashmir, which I find uh, remarkable. Um, so I have decided that now I'm going to fight this uh, injustice. In fact, it's not just injustice, it's illegal because there is plenty of precedence such as the movie Heather, which was made by Vishalji, um, which had a U certificate or a UA certificate, I can't remember. Um, there's another movie made by one Mr. Pankaj Butalia, which was on stone pelting in Kashmir, which uh, went to High Court, they won the appeal, and the A certificate got turned into a U certificate. So these precedents are there. And the CBFC is well aware of these precedents. But yet, they have made me wait for six months films the cinema is almost a, a spiritual experience, okay? both the making of it as well as the viewing of it and the potential that it has to move people emotionally and uh, in fact also create some sort of social change somewhere. I mean just the fact that people start asking some questions for me is the first step towards change and to do so where nobody else is asking those questions. I mean I make the reason I'm I guess one of the reasons why I'm drawn to Kashmir is because there's very little that you can actually say about Kashmir uh, without getting censored, I guess, you know. And um, that means 
the, there is a big problem, there is a big imbalance. There is a lot of propaganda and misinformation and outright lies that are told about what is happening in Kashmir. And there is very little counter narrative. It's my responsibility to create cinema that asks those questions, right? That, that pushes those dialogues and narratives.